every successful person in this world has jumped. I'm going to tell you what I mean by that. You eventually, you are going to have to jump. A very good day to all of you. Today we plan on speaking about one of the most crucial things that I think it is ne- that I think is necessary for today's society, which is identifying and analyzing the success stories of many individuals that have made it in life. First and foremost, we have to understand that the only way we can become successful in life is by going through failures, by going through difficulties, and by going through hardships. Because the best lessons in life that we get are from these hardships, from these difficulties, and from these hurdles. So today we will be going through a few of the success stories of some of the most prominent individuals across the world in order to get an idea of what we can use to learn from these stories in order to make it big someday. First and foremost, I think one of the most underrated success stories of all time is the story of prominent actor Sylvester Stallone. Sylvester Stallone is one of the most biggest names in Hollywood. He's one of the A-list actors that have made it big with his movie, uh, with his movies across a variety of genres. And he's especially known for his movie Rocky, which was quite the hit as soon as it was released. But what we do know about Sylvester Stallone is just the glitz, the glamour, as well as all the successes that he has attained. But what we do not know is the backstory of countless years of sacrifice and hardship that he had to make in order to become the icon that he is. First and foremost, Sylvester Stallone, uh, as soon as he was done with college, was dead set on getting a career in acting and becoming an actor someday. He also pursued various various other jobs just to keep himself going, just to keep himself alive and just to be able to pay the bills. But of course, these were jobs that were odd jobs and they were not consistent. So because of this, it it even came to a point where he had to sell his wife's jewelry in order for him to survive. And because he was unable to even afford food for his dog, he had to sell his dog off. And this went on for year after year after year. And even it came to a point where he was practically homeless, without a home, on the streets, without a job. And this went on for years, specifically for seven years, until one day he wrote a script himself presented it to to two big shot directors at Hollywood and that went on to become the movie that we recognize as Rocky today. So his journey started off with seven years of failure, seven years of hardship where he consistently had to fall down and fall down and fall down. But the catch that we have to learn is that he never fell down and stayed there. He got himself back up and rose up the ranks and now he is the prominent actor that he is today. Uh, Secondly, I think another very key figure that we have to recognize is Miss Oprah Winfrey, who is one of the most prominent talk show hosts in the history of television or in the history of the world, as a matter of fact, as she inspires and empowers so many across the world to live their best lives, to live the best version of themselves and to, to give back to society as much as possible. But what we do know yet again about Oprah Winfrey is all the successes she has had and all of all of the times we've seen her in front of the screen, on stage, presenting speeches, presenting deliveries. But we do not know that she too started off with a very, very, very rough background. Her parents had her at a very young age, around 18 to 19 years old. And because of that, as soon as she was born, it led to the parents, uh, the, her parents splitting up. Uh, and because of this, she had to be brought up by her grandmother, who was very disciplinarian, who was very strict, and gave her quite a very tight upbringing. And because of this, by the age of six, she had to move in with her mother. Uh, and with her mother, she was prone to face various sorts of sexual assault by family members themselves throughout those first few years of her life. And then ultimately, by the age of 14, she was, she was pregnant. And uh, because she was pregnant, she was kicked out of her home by her mother and she had to go back to her, uh, to her father. And it was from there, then on that, that she shows that uh, because of her pregnancy, she would, she would try to change her life. And unfortunately, as soon as the baby was born, within a week, the baby passed away. And that was a turning point in Oprah Winfrey's life where she chose that she would educate herself, get a good job, and work up the ranks in order to be able to empower and inspire so many more which she has done 
with time. I think one of the key takeaways from Oprah Winfrey's story is to not let these failures define who you are, not let these challenges define who you are. Uh, don't let your, don't, do not let yourself become the victims of your hurdles, of your difficulties and of your issues. Face them with strength, face them with valor and always remember that no matter how low you fall, you always have the opportunity of just turning your life around if you choose to do it. And just like Oprah Winfrey went from a kid that had, been, that had gone through so much till the age of 14 and went on to become a news anchor, went on to become one of the most prominent news anchors and now we all know her as one of the greatest talk show hosts of all time. So if she could do it, if she could rise up the ranks despite her difficulty, any of you can as well. And last but not the least, we will be talking about one of the most prominent actors uh, who has also made it big in the political arena as well as the bodybuilding arena. It's none other than the star of Terminator, Arnold Schwarzenegger. And I think his story is also quite inspiring because he started off not in America. His, his journey started off in Austria. This, this was during the period right after World War II when the country was settling back in and alcoholism was a very common thing. People were just getting drunk and people having big dreams in Austria were, were laughed at. People who wanted to do, to do massive things, who wanted to become stars, who wanted to become icons, they were looked down upon, they were mocked and they were laughed at. And because of this, Arnold Schwarzenegger chose the mission that he would once one day become an actor, a prominent actor, and his mission to get to that position of becoming an actor was to make it big as a bodybuilder. So he, at Austria, he worked, he worked really hard towards his mission to become a bodybuilder and eventually he knew that Austria wasn't the place for him so he moved all the way to the United States of America because he believed it was the land of freedom which, it, which apparently uh, it turned out to be for him and he met a few friends, he worked out, he, he gained a lot, he worked towards his competitions and went on to become one of the most youngest winners of a title with regard to bodybuilding and then he went, went on to win more and more titles with bodybuilding until eventually he was able to make it to the big screen and now the biggest movies of all time, movies such as Terminator and so many more uh, are, have starred none other than Arnold Schwarzenegger. His journey did not stop there and he went on even to become the governor of the state of California uh, which, he, which he ran for a few years back and I think his lesson that he gives us is no matter where you come from, if you have a drive, if you have a vision, you can surely become successful and as long as you push towards that mission, as long as you are you have you have that in, uncontrollable desire to achieve that you can do it and i think also one other key takeaway that we can take from arnold schwarzenegger is success is some success is the journey and not the destination if he looked at his act, acting career as somewhat of the destination of his success he would have stopped there but he did not he went on to even get into politics become the governor of a state and inspire so much more individuals than he could have through his movies. He went on to actually make political decisions and reforms that could actually support a community, that could support a society within, uh, within his uh, state. And I believe that as long as you keep realizing that the entire journey of success is a journey and it's not a destination, you would constantly keep achieving these milestones across your life. So these are the stories of three most prominent individuals, Sylvester Stallone, Oprah Winfrey, Arnold Schwarzenegger, who have given us insights that the only way you can actually make it as successful individuals is to be patient and is to go through hardship. Because without hardship, we will not learn our lessons. We will not learn how we can improve. And I think it is through failures, through difficulties, and through these toils that we become that individual. It is, it is in the likes of a diamond in the rough that has, that, that has to get struck again and again and again in order to shine and in order to be cut in the right places to be sold for a very high amount. So if you are facing difficulty, if you are facing hardship, remind yourself of the stories of Oprah Winfrey, of Sylvester Stallone, of Arnold Schwarzenegger. And these are just three people amidst a myriad of other individuals that probably have that probably have gone through so much more in order to become the people they are today and one day I'm pretty sure all of you who are listening to this will also have the ability to somehow uh, work hard to becoming wonderful individuals and your stories will be heard by the world someday. Thank you very much.